Let's say the woman enjoyed the level. We have to leave this place now. We may have missed our target. Let's go. Not rich, him. Yeah, and not one. Not reachable again. Let me call her husband. So, what do you want? I want to come out and send her out the phone. No, that I'm now. Dada, what do you worry you? You won't pick rich man for what do you want to tell him? You won't expose us. What do you worry you? How now? See, no time to the lecture, you eh? We just find what we find. Yeah, we'll collect them. We'll come here now. This place no this thing for. Baby, you make sense, guy. You make sense. You make sense. Then we'll just show the phone. So, hey. It's not picking. Why is it not picking? Yeah. He didn't pick again. No? I hope all is well. I hope everything is okay. 
So now, so no be phone, we'll find you. Nothing they last last. So good. Thank you, smart. Please, please, I'm begging you to want your pleading. Yes. What I'm after is the money. Give me any money. Let's have the money and we'll move. What, what money? Don't worry. Yeah. My boss tells better. Where is the money? Boss, so make I know like you. Make I tell you the truth. No be capping. We sat there. Inside and outside. We don't even see one couple. I don't feel like I give you now. Make I chuku. I swear. What do you mean by there is no money? See, boss. Now the truth in the day you. Boss. I say this could be a wrong target be this. Now wrong target. Nothing come out. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. You see this guy here? He thinks that he's smart. But I will tell you that I'm ten times smarter than you. Boys, pick him up. Where did you hide the money? Please, please. I have told you before. We don't have any money. See, we were just coming from an occasion when you guys kidnapped us. I swear, you, you may have targeted the wrong car, please. I'm begging you, please. So you are trying to teach us how to do our work? Huh? Okay. Please. Ah! 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 Um, Answer me down! Okay. Still switched off. How would Amanda switch her phone off by this time of the day? Hey. Scared, eh? My mind is not at rest. What is this? Hey! Still switched off. Let him pick up your phone now. Where do you keep your phone? Pick up your phone. This guy pick your phone, you don't pick your call. I wonder where you kept your phone. This guy is not answering his phone. What is all this now? What's the meaning of all this now? Come to meeting, he won't come to meeting. Now I'm calling his phone, his phone is ringing, he's not answering his phone. What is all this now? What gets 
you so long. So, madam, I am very, very sorry. I swear. <clears throat> sorry, I, I was sleeping. And inside my sleeping, I was also dreaming. In fact, can you guess what? What? In that dream, what I don't understand is that I saw both of us doing like Tom and Jerry. Unu na manu. I mean, Romeo and Juliet. In fact, both of us got wedded in that dream, I swear. <laughs> yes. That same dream? Yes! Yes! Uh, see, do, do you know that? Is that a dream? Uh, uh, we uh, were in a dancing hall. Some people started to spread money on us. Some spreading dollars. Some are spreading pounds. Some are spreading 1,000 naira. In fact, the different kind of hard currencies and different kinds of money. Do you know what? Food, drink was nyafu nyafu. The next thing that people who came there were eating, as they are eating, some are vomiting. <laughs> some are even sitting in their pants. <laughs> as all of us are dancing, each in a mad bell, All of a sudden, I started to hear, You can kiss all right. Mm. 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 What are you trying to do? Wow. In fact, that was how romantically your hand was. When you slapped me romantically, my cheeks received it romantically as well. See, the thing was, re I really enjoyed it. As both of us are hugging each other, we are kissing each other, we are doing hiwakata. <laughs> yes, all of a sudden, I hear hiwakata. Kurukoto. Forget. And I, I woke up. I forgot that this thing was a dream. I swear, I, I, I wasn't myself. Yeah? Otondo. Mirim, mirim, mirim. You are my kidney. <laughs> Do you know what? You are my liver. You are my backbone. You are my brain tumor. You are my everything. I mean, my pottery. <laughs> Do you know what? Yes. <laughs> it will continue to be a dream. It will never happen, okay? <sighs> <laughs> wow! Oh my God! See kind of ways, Iwaka, Iwaka. This is forty feet. I mean, this is where I'm going to lay my life on. I'm going to die on top. When I die on top, I'm also going to resurrect. In fact, I'm going to recalculate inside here. In Africa, who can rent it? Who can rob it? Iwaka, Iza kede, Iza, Iwaka. Oh, yeah, I'm coming and I will die there.
Do you know how, 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 how much a bag of cement in that costs? Costa, <laughs> how are you? Oga Chike. Costa, what are you doing? Oh, as you can see, God's power is upon me. God's time is the best. <laughs> I can see that. Yes. I can see that. How is work? I thank God. Thank God. As you can see, I'm bouncing. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, how are you doing? I'm fine. Um, is that little lawyer back? Oh, no. I thought he's already at the meeting with you guys. No, Abigail. That's why I'm here, because he's supposed to brief us about the community town hall project. I mean, some other members are beginning to cause serious issues already. Oh, he's not in. He left this morning. Good afternoon. Terry, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is Amanda in? Oh, no. Amanda and her husband left since morning. Is anything the matter? No, it's fine. I'll come back later. with her. What's happening? Where's Amanda? What's going on? I can't. I don't, I don't understand. What is really happening here? Guys, please go to the gate and check if there is any, any unusual movement. Who left this morning? What's going on now? Hey. Guys, talk to us now. Wait till you saw now. Wait till you saw. Open that gate. Eh? Are we invisible? Yeah, what's going on now? Have you done? Look what you've done. Shame on you. Look what you've done. Yeah. Shame on you. Oh, what have you done? 
gone and what have you done? Look what you've done. Shame on you. Look what you've done. Yeah. Shame on you. What have you done? What have you done? Look what you've done Shame on you Look what you've done yeah. Shame on You want to stay with me, small? Oh, my God. The marriage between your daughter and I is over. <laughs> oh, God, more. <laughs> Today is not a prayer one, okay? It's a meme pray full. Do you think this is a joke? It is. You think I came all the way to this place to come and crack joke with you? It is a joke, oh, because I don't understand what you're saying. My daughter called me this morning and told me that both of you will be going somewhere. That from there she will come and see me. Now you pull up at the I don't understand. Listen, I do not have time for this nonsense. This is your daughter's belonging. The next time I will be coming to this place will be to collect my bride price. I cannot be married to a prostitute. Excuse me. Are you serious? I don't understand though. Vienna, little. I don't understand. What are you saying? Oh God. Uh -uh. Oh God, we are Oh God. You are too serious. What is serious? Make sure you report to me every four hours about her condition. Okay. And stay around. Okay, Doctor. Please. What kind of wala is this? 
what must have gone wrong? Such a happy and beautiful marriage to end like this without explanation. Mama, ah. are you traveling? Travel, wa. Hmm. brought it. Why? If you ask me, who will I ask? He said it's your sister's box that their marriage is over. Was he high on cheap drugs or what? Drum. The whole thing is confusing. Because in the morning, I spoke with your sister. She told me that she would be going somewhere with Darlington. That when they, they, they are done there, she will come and see me. A few hours later, Darlington will pull up, baby. Hey. Eh? The one that is paining me now is that her phone is not even connected. I've been trying to call her no way. Mm -hmm. eh? Let me also try. Try, yo. Because if I wait till night, she doesn't call me. In the morning, Ngaba City. Mama, this is not, it's not, it's not good news, though. Eh? Monaco. It's not connecting. Mm. <laughs> this is not good news. I've been asking you this same question since you came back, but you're not giving me any explanations. Okay, but you left this house very happy with your wife. Only for you to return a few hours later. You refuse to say a word to anyone. Okay, you left with a suitcase. Brother, this is almost 8 p.m. And your wife is not yet back. Brother, tell me, what happened? But where is your wife? Brother, you're not saying anything. But where is your wife? You're not even saying anything. This is my problem with you. you keep hiding things to yourself. Greeting to yourself. Where is my daughter? Where is my daughter? Uh, Mama, calm down. No, no. Let's go inside and discuss. Eh, uh eh. -uh. We are discussing it here. You're telling me to calm down. Go punish, calm down. 
when you came to the village yesterday, shouting at me and cursing my daughter, did you come down? Did you listen to me? You were even calling my daughter all manner of names. You even called her a prostitute. Ekwem, give me my prostitute of a daughter. Or I will call police for you. Ah, but my husband got into It has gotten to that. Don't tell me that nonsense. Give me my daughter. I'm going to call police. So. No, stop telling me to calm down, this boy. Stop telling me to calm down. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Iris, Biko, 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 come on. Biko, eh, help me. And beg him to give me my daughter. Uh -huh. Let him provide my daughter for me. Uh -uh. You mean she's not still in this house? What is going on? I've been calling since yesterday. Her phone is switched off. Oh, oh. Where is your wife? Hey. Oh, well, um, we were attacked by Andrew Abbas yesterday. Hey! Hey! Baby, I think we should go back and take another route. I mean... Babe, going to take another route is just a waste of time. I'm sure this thing was probably blocked by these local boys who go about collecting money from people. They forgot to take it off. No, baby, please. Let's just go back and take another route, please. I'm not just comfortable with it. Women, you guys are never comfortable with anything. I'm just going to take it off and we can continue. Just watch, nothing is going to happen. I'm coming. Baby. We came back yesterday, just entered, carry box and, and left the house. Where is your wife? Uh, well, they, they left. My wife and I had an argument. I pushed her and then I left. You pushed her? That means you have killed her. You have killed my daughter. Eh? Give me my it's daughter, Biko. Don't tell me that nonsense. Oh, you pushed her. You have killed her, now. Huh? Don't touch me also. Oh, you why? Why? Stop calling me when you What happened? Where is my husband? Relax, relax, relax. All your questions will be answered, but you need to relax. Your phone. No, no, doctor. I, I need to go and see my No, 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 no. Don't do that. You, you are stressing your body by doing that. Just relax, please. Stop stressing your body. You are causing more damage to your body by stressing. Doctor, please. I need my husband. <laughs> your husband? I actually don't have a clue about that. A gentleman brought you here and he paid all your bills and I'll be visiting frequently, so I don't... Gentleman? Who, who could that be? Um, actually, he didn't say his name, but he said he's a family friend. Family friend? Doctor, please. I need to call my family, at least to tell them where I am. Because I know they will be very sick about me now. Can I have my phone? Your phone, you are not brought in here with the phone, but you can actually use my own if you have the number by heart. Yes, I know. Okay, let me have the number. Zero eight one. 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 Zero e
Give me Mr. Amanda, where did you leave your wife now? Wait, wait, wait. Eh? No. Give me my daughter. No, 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 Say, don't tell me to come down. Eh? That was come down. Let him give me my daughter. Mr. Amanda, why are you doing? Why are you doing? Get away. Give me my daughter. No, 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 no. Give me my daughter. Why are you doing? Why are you doing? Why are you doing? Why are you doing? Come on, get out. Give me my daughter. Please, my friend. Give me a look. Hello? Yes, I said your wife is admitted at Masida Hospital. Yes, yes. A good Samaritan brought her here. But she was unconscious until a few minutes ago when she regained consciousness. Yes, the one opposite the bank. Yes, yes. I'm expecting you. Dr. Jimo is my name. Thank you. Keep your questions till when you get home. She suffered a minor head trauma. Yes. So right now she needs rest and no stress. Please. Thank you, doctor. No problem. You're welcome. She'll be fine. I'll leave for you. Said now, he said you should keep your questions later. Sorry, sorry, it will be little. Sorry. Ah, ah, why? Tell why did you push her like that, Nana? What is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is that you are no longer welcomed in my house. Epuna. So you better take your leave if I unleash my rope. Daddy, I don't know what has come over you. I don't know what is the problem. Why are you doing this? Is it that you are high or something or what? Because I, I, the, even when he came to the village, the way he was talking, he say Amaramo Angongo. Eh? He was talking, calling you all kinds of names. Now I said, what is going on? Eh? Now the problem in a way. I want you to go in there, pack the remaining of your filthy things and leave my house and my life for good. Your action took me to the hospital for three days. Now that I am back, instead of you to welcome me, you are here behaving, I don't get. Welcome a prostitute. Thank you so much for insulting and humiliating me. Yes, thank you so much. But make sure you pick the remaining of your nonsense in my house and get out of my life. Mama, is this man high on hard drugs? Hold or... on, hold on. You, this incident, incident. You people have been saying this so much. Tell me that incident. Both of you have refused to tell me anything. Can do the incident. How about what I'm getting? Don't let me come back here and meet you. <laughs> Mama, Amanda. Ma. What is the incident? Mama, please, let's go inside. Just forget about him. Let's go inside. No, don't talk to me about the incident now. Can the incident are not open? What is the incident? Eh? So, I had to count some members that day. Because a few of them were already causing problems. But after much more argument, I decided to come and check up on you. I came into your place. You were not there though at the moment. A few minutes later, you came in. You came in, you saw all of us. You went straight into your home. So immediately, you came out with luggage. Zoomed off, without even saying a word. He ignored me, ignored others. Man, that is no good. It's not right now. We are friends. Seems you, you don't even have value for our friendship. Um, Chike, honestly, I'm very sorry for what happened that day. My wife and I have been having some issues, you know, so I wasn't together. Really? In that case, it's okay, no problem. 
But, but what was it all about between you and your wife? Like what happened between you and your wife? Um, the meeting. How did it go? <sighs> Talentine, I'm not talking about what happened in the meeting. What is it you said happened between you and your wife that day? That's what we are talking about now, not meeting. What are you trying to do? Trying to make love with my husband, of course. Make what love? Are you mad? Like, is, is something wrong with you? Me make love to you over my dead body. Don't you dare try to touch me again. What, what, what kind of nonsense is that? Darling, please. Stop this childish behavior now. Eh? Let's put this issue behind us and move on, please. The only way we can move on is when you pack your things and leave my house. Leave my house now, is it by force? Baby, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm being honest here. If your life wasn't on the line, I wouldn't have done what I did. Please, forgive me. Besides, you know, I contributed in building this house. Please, it is also my home. This home, this house, ceases to be yours since three days ago. And don't you dare in your miserable life ever touch me again. Did you hear me? Don't you ever try it. I will never have anything to do with the prostitute. Why, why am I even in this room? I, I, what am I doing on this bed, Seth? Darlington. Darlington, kill you there. What really happened? Eh? The other day I went to your house. Your husband was just went in, packed his inside box, left the house. No, and I did not see you. I was calling your phone, was switched off. What happened? Eh? Can't you talk? Oh, oh. If you know you don't want to say anything, why are you here? What is happening? Eh? What happened on your trip? Did you guys fight? Did you insult him? Did he cheat on you? Ugh. Talk now. Amanda. Eh? I was calling and calling and calling you. Only for me to find you on the hospital bed. They say you have a, a trauma. Eh? You're not even worried with today. What is the problem? Did your husband beat you? Eh? So you can't open up to your friend? If you're having issues now, you can't talk to me. That's what you're trying to say. It's okay. Oh. No problem. Since we're now keeping secrets. That you and your husband have issues. You cannot confide in me, your friend. You were even in the hospital for days. Eh? Is he beating you? What traumatized your head? How did your head uh, uh, have trauma? I call this meeting for you all to help me tell this woman to leave my house in peace. I have told her countless times that this marriage is over. I do not know what she's still doing in my house. I have filed for a divorce and very soon she will be served. Darlington, I want you to have a rethink 
before you take this drastic measure. There must have been something your wife did that made you to call for divorce. I don't want you to divorce her, this beautiful marriage. Tell us what happened. That's why we are here. Uncle, to be honest with you, the shame that I experienced that day would not let me speak. Ask her. Maybe, just maybe, she can cover her shame and tell you people what happened. As for me, the humiliation and ridicule I went through will not let me speak. See, Darlington, you invited me for this meeting because we've been friends since childhood, right? Yes, and you know that I'm not scared to tell the truth. I am never scared to tell you the truth. Darlington, at this point, you are the one who wants to terminate this marriage. So give us your reasons. Tell us why you want to terminate this marriage. That's right. Why do you want to end it? Chike, like I said, the humiliation and ridicule would not let me speak. As I'm talking, I, I feel this ghost. I feel like throwing up. I didn't know I've been living with a prostitute all this while. It is you and your entire family that is a prostitute. Darlington, it is you, your sister, your mother, your entire family that is a prostitute. Oh! Look at this ingrate! When you are supposed to be praising me for saving your life. So this is what you have to say. No problem. Since you want us to wash our dirty linen in public. I'm not doing that. You will have me. I do not have any dirty linen to be washed in public. Maybe you do. So tell them. Tell them exactly what happened. So I started dating this man in my second year. We have been living happily ever since then. No other man has touched me until this unfortunate incident happened. I see you don't want to talk. Huh? I will show you what we do to fools like you who values money more than their lives. Boys, untie the wife and lay her over here. Okay, yes, Basu. Please, 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 do you want to become a widow now? Good. No, no, please. please. You need to calm down. Else, your husband's brain will be all over this ground. Have I made myself clear? Good. Now pull off your panties and throw it up to me. No, 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 please, I'm begging I you. I said please. quiet. Shh. Fast! Congratulations. This is your chief tenancy title. For looking. Smoke! Rats. Right. Have this gone. If she tries to resist or cause any trouble, kill him! Don't play your boss. Go down. I said go down. And I just lay that there thinking that it's only going to last for one minute because that is the minute my husband lasts for. I say the woman enjoyed the level. Make her go my own Anna. Bossu, I no lie for you, I swear. I go enter. Why are you looking at family? No, guys. There is no time for that. We have to leave this place now. We may have missed our target. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How long 
long have you been doing this? I don't understand. Doing what? Do not play dumb with me. I only did it to save our life. Thank God that we are alive, baby. Do not touch me! Why are you giving me this attitude? I was forced to do what I did. Ratty would have killed you. Ratty? You even know his name? Seriously? I do not have time for a prostitute like you. How dare you? Oh! You want, you want to hit me? Oh, no, go ahead and hit me. Instead of you to be thanking me for saving your life. You are here thinking rubbish. If you were man enough all these years. How dare you? I hit you. I hit you with ketchup. Guys, I told you all that something is not right here. We need to take her to the hospital right now. Eh? What if police call involved for the matter? Bossu! Are you the tallest guy team? Guy, you won't put us on top of me! Kate, me and no one enter cell. Guy, they would be what we are here now. Kate! Now listen, should anything happen to her here and she dies here, we are all in trouble and the police will find us. Let's take her to the hospital right now. Kate, come on! Like I say, waiting boys, they talk. Makes if I'm a weapon, move, move, go, move, go. Guys, come on, let's carry her. Me there to die. Unconscious on the floor. This same guy came back to save me, took me to the hospital and paid the entire bills. Ah, it's a bon mado. <laughs> hey! Eh? Uh, listen. So why were you crying? Eh? She even saved your life. If she did not do it, the man would have shot you dead. Eh? You should be grateful now. Oh, oh, oh. He only one minute, man. Because go and hide your face. Nonsense. For saving you. 
Look what you've done. Thank you. What was the meaning of what just happened in there? Did you just see what happened in there? Amanda just humiliated me. She reduced me to nothing. Can you imagine? Bro, if I must be honest with you, you brought all that upon yourself. Oh yes. You brought all that upon yourself because she tried holding back. What did you do? You were pushing. You were pushing her. You pushed her to the point that you pushed her back against the wall. She had no choice than to lash at you. Changing the whole narrative in her own favor. Now everyone sees you as a villain in the story. Well, that is debatable. But the main thing that is really getting me so mad right now, the thing that is getting me upset is how she was narrating it. Did you see the expression on her face? Did you see that? That it was so sweet and wonderful. And her mother, that woman, had the nerve to call me. Me, a one minute man. Come on, Darlington. Darlington, grow up. Grow up for crying out loud. You and I know that they did all that to get you walked off. And he's walking. He's walking. She enjoyed it. But the way she explained it was just to spite you. But hold on a minute, Darlington. How come you never told me you are now a one minute man? Well, I. It was never an issue in my relationship, so I didn't think it was a problem. I mean, she never complained for one day. It's an issue, Darlington. It's an issue. A very big issue at that. Look, look let me tell you. You see, in this country, 99.9% .9 of women in this country will leave you in the heartbeat the moment they notice you're suffering from premature ejaculation. What are you not telling me now? Except maybe the woman just wants to stay back to cheat on you even, even, even while she's in the marriage. For me, oh, it is not good to take a decision in a hurry, especially when you're angry. I would like you to sleep over it. By the time you wake up in the morning, your head will be clear. So whatever you say that time goes. I think Mama has a point. Mm? Calm down. And I don't even think that your husband wants you to live after this whole revelation. Eh? Even though what you did was a little bit too harsh, but it's okay. We understand. Just calm down. No need for you to start packing your things that you want to leave. No, now. My calm mind down. is made up. I am leaving this house today. You see that man? He's a very prideful man. If I don't leave this house, he's not going to treat me with respect. I know him very well. That's one day, Sha. You have a point. Mm. Mm. Well. My own point is, where is she going to stay? I hope she's not coming to the village to be dragging that small space with me. Oh yeah, Bakwan. God mm. forbid. God forbid. She come to the village so that those villagers will wash my name and dry it with gossip. And iron your name, Seth. I'll, I'll sort myself out. Um, you can stay with me. Yes. Uh, even if they didn't tell you, don't you know that I was supposed to come to your house before? You safe. Wait, did you really do those things you were talking about? No, I was only exaggerating. And I know it's going to pepper him so much. And it worked. <laughs> even Mama said, Mama was just adding sort of an injury. <laughs> Calling him one minute man. It's well, no? It's really well. It's true. See, um, uh, see, I, I wanted to ask you something. What is this meeting going on every time? Buru, buru, bara, bara, ma, ma, mama will come, Mama will go. Madam, uh, uh, all of a sudden, Madam is not around. Uh, very soon, she will come back. You know, bara, 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 uh, please, Mamu Kuneze, Mamu Kuneze, tell me. You know, I have your. <laughs> you understand? God's time eh? is about us. Eh? 
Yes. I, you know I, that dream that you had that day yeah. about our marriage, yeah. Abby? Yeah. That's why they're having the meeting. Calm down now. It's not like that. You know, see, you don't need to hide something from me. In fact, as I am, I'm seeing myself as a bona fide member of this family. Wow. There is nothing you can hide from me. Open up. Baby, open up. Is your in fact, is your autonomous auto borough. I hear it's your thunder. The thunder is talking to you. <laughs> Do you know one thing about you? Yeah, what you is don't it? know your position in this life. <laughs> you just keep yourself. In one certain position that nobody have ever placed you. Calm down now. Don't misunderstand me. See, see, it's, it's, do, do you understand? I, I don't. I'm not doing it. Not just to help you people. And remember, I am the CEO. Uh, sorry, the 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 CSO of this compound. In fact, I need to be very very vigilant to know any kind of movement so that I will be alert. Yes. I'm your boss. Can you attack them now? Just go quickly go and attack them now. Why, why are you like this? You are just lazy. I don't, I don't understand you these days. So, eh? Small thing that I just asked you. Tell me that thing. Tell me. Uh -huh. Bend down now so that I'll kick your teeth. It's not what you just said. You like gossip. Gossip pass, pa pa pass woman. Say it be. You, you, you go see past woman. This is cap and shoe. How, how many years have you been wearing this shoe? Four. Ah ah. Ah Babe, what's up? Are you leaving already? Yes. I don't understand. I thought we agreed to spend the night together. Why? There's no fun spending a night here with you. I don't understand. You're just in one minute. You can't even tell me home. I'll talk about reaching my orgasm. So no need of me staying here. So I need a real man. Real man. Not a one minute man. So suit yourself. Amanda, are you okay? I'm fine. I just feel a little bit down, but I'll be fine. You don't look okay. Eh? But if you say you're okay, no problem. I'm fine. I'm okay. If you're not okay, let's go to the hospital and run some tests. We are sleepers. Let's go. Why would you suggest that? Because I've been watching you. Eh? Every morning you wake up, wah, you have step vomiting, mwah, you have vomiting, spit, ta, ta, if you, wah. These are signs of pregnancy. Why are you pregnant? Hmm? Are you pregnant? Yes. Are you serious? Eh? Are you being serious? You're pregnant. I'm pregnant, of course I am. Who is responsible? Who do you think is responsible? Please, 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 please. Don't tell me it was the guy that raped you. And you plan on keeping the baby? So what do you expect me to do? Remove it! Yes! Why do you want to keep the child of an arm robber? Why? What, what logical reason do you have to want to keep this baby? Babe, if anyone should tell me that you of all people will suggest that I abort this pregnancy, I would not have believed it. Is this girl okay? 
Is she okay? You want to keep the baby of an armed robber, somebody that raped you. So, Mama, that is what I've been battling with. I've talked and talked and talked, but she refused to listen. Chima Amanda. Yes, Mama. Is it true that you are pregnant and your husband is not the one responsible for it? Mama, I am pregnant and my husband is not responsible. Hey! Atomo! Eh? Then who is responsible? Iris. You brought me here now. You should be able to tell her who is responsible for the pregnancy. She said his name is Rati. Gene. Rati. Hey, but Rati. The guy that raped her. Hey! Atomo! I'm finished. Hey! My enemies have finally succeeded. Hey, what will I tell my women? What will I tell my meeting women? Hey, okay, chillem bada What will I tell them? Eh? Hey? Mama, must you tell anybody anything? The last time I checked, I'm still married to my husband. He, he is yet to collect the bride price. And I have not received any divorce petition from him. So, what is the noise about? I beg. Hey! Are you proud of yourself? Eh? Your husband is looking for evidence to end this marriage. He is looking for what he will hold on to to chase you out of his life. And you have given it to him on a platter. You have tried. Mm. Oh God. Hey. Please, Mama. Nobody should tell me to abort this baby. Uh, nobody should tell me to abort this baby. If that's the case, I would rather become a single mother and take care of this baby on my own. Okay. Please. When that child grows up, who will you tell him or her that the father is? I will tell him the truth now. Na papi abu rapist. Ah. Hey, There's nothing to worry about here. I'm hungry. Is there food in the house? Are you serious that you want to leave? Please now, you can't just leave. See, Perry, please now, I know you're mad at me, but see, I promise you this time around, if I fail, then, then you can leave. Just, just come back to the bed, please. This was what you said the first time. The second time, and now you couldn't even last up to a minute. What kind of man are you? You can't even satisfy me. Huh? I, I, I don't think I can cope with this. I'm tired. I'm tired. Just calm down. I know you are so mad right now. See, I, uh, I promise you, I will, I, will, I will impress you this time around. Just come back to the bed. I will satisfy you. I promise you. Even if you do it hundred times, it will still going to be the same thing. I believe you have serious issue that requires medical attention. I will advise you to go to the hospital and check yourself. How do your wife even cope with you for so many years? I salute her. Like, I don't get, I don't understand. Hey. Perry, just calm down. I know, see, I know how you feel. Oh. It's not like I don't know. But mm, I promise you, see, if you just come back to this bed, eh, the way I will, I will handle you, even you will be surprised. I will impress you. Please now, just... Assuming I was your wife, I would have left in a heartbeat. Like, I'm tired. I, I can't do this anymore. Like, I can't cope. I can't cope. You're not satisfying me. Perry, see, just give me one more try. See, mm, I swear, if you enter this bed now, do I will satisfy you, eh? Please, please now. Please, I, I can't cope, please. Thank you. Perry, please oh. now. Perry, Perry, please. <laughs>
sorry. Oh, sorry for stopping you. Okay. Um, in fact, it's because of what is happening, because of Oga's condition. Understand? In fact, the way Oga is behaving now is giving me concern. It's giving me sleepless nights. In fact, it has caused depression. If I eat now, the food will hang here at my autofocus. The thing cannot land direct to my large intestine. Talk about of me, metabolize it. Understand? So, since Madame left this house, Oka has been behaving one strange. In fact, I've been different, different kind of thing which I cannot explain. So I want to ask you: Did you notice it, or is it only me that saw the thing now? God's time. Mm -hmm. Everything you just said here is truth. Oh. Yes. I know my brother. He likes to bottle up things in his chest. Whoa. And wouldn't want to talk about it. I've tried so many times to talk to him about it, but he won't say anything. <laughs> that is a suicide mission. In fact, that is not good. That's the reason why. Very soon you hear that people jump from a, a head bridge down to River Niger, hey, um, or from Lagoon. You get them. So that is the thing, because they don't like to open up to somebody. Are you hearing me? Do you know, the other, the other night, I saw a guy. He carried one girl like that and entered the house. I said, no problem. So I went to my bed to pray to my God. Do you know that before I will open my mouth to say, Nava, na. Where are you? Where are you? Fool. I come on. So you are a fool. You are a fool at the 40. In fact, you are a fool forever. I just look at myself. I already fought. In fact, I'm still a, a kid. Despite that, I have a mature face. <laughs> I have a sensual face, but no problem. Um, so, the way so she was a kind of insulting me. In fact, calling me different names that I should come and open the gate for her. There, I went there and opened the gate for her. Do you know what? Last night, for this last night, Oga came. In fact, Oga brought in another girl. I brought and said, I said to myself, you see this one? I must see the head. So I have to corner one side. It's not for me to go to my bed and pray. But I said, let me pray the prayer one corner. Do you know that? Before I will say, Lord, Lord have me. Before I will say, mercy. The girl is already back. She was saying that, hey, I can't take this. I can't take this. You see? I said, what can you? I, I didn't see any mark. Oga didn't slap to her. But the way she was vibrating, I know. I said, Which I don't know. In fact, eh, the thing is giving me a sleepless night. I won't lie to you. Because uh, this is the same thing I'll be battling with. <laughs> see, <clears throat> do you know what? I need to go and confront Oga as a man to man. Bone to bone. I want to talk to him like a man. Look at me. Am I not a man? Oh, I see. Yeah. You want to go and talk to him? I want to go and talk to Oga. <laughs> you can go. The floor is yours. Yeah. The floor is yours. I'm going out there to get something. Uh, buy something talk to you for you. Yeah. For, for, for you. Yeah. What's wrong with you? What's wrong
Hi. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, my love. Yes, baby. I did. You're the best. <laughs> but baby, it's just that it's always too quick. But it's not a problem, so long you're happy. I'm happy. Of course, I'm happy. Oh, I'm mm. happy too. My baby. Mm. My queen. Mm. My priceless. <laughs> yeah, baby. My most priceless possession. Mm. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you so much. I know. Me too. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm oh, good. Bro, I've been calling your line for some minutes now. You're not answering your phone. Oh, uh, my phone? Oh, I must have left it upstairs. Upstairs? Anyway, that's okay. I've not seen you for a while now, so I decided to come check up on you. Oh, thank you so much, bro. Honestly, I have been in this house for the past two days, thinking about my life my mistake and my regrets. And I've come to the realization that I need to make amends. Amends. That's good to hear. So how do you go about it? I want to bring back my wife. But first, I need to take care of this premature ejaculation thing. It's embarrassing. This is the best news I have received this year. I tell you the truth. But you know what? You have my support 100%. All you just need to do now is to tell me how to come in. I want you to help me with solution to this thing. You know, the last time we had a conversation, you seemed to know so much about it. Of course. Do you know that I brought in two girls into this house and they insulted me because of it? I need to take care of this problem. Do you have an idea? Yes, of course. There are several enhancement pills on the market. Yeah, that can make you last up to 30 minutes and above. 30 minutes? 30? Yeah. Are you serious? Of course I am serious. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to recommend any of them to you. Yes. Why? You're my friend. The reason is because they have negative side effects in the long run. So I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. So, um, what do you suggest I do? Simple. First of all, I want you to understand something. You see, premature ejaculation is a mental disorder. Maybe you get too excited or think about love making before you go into it. You know, putting your whole mind and attention in love making can actually cause premature ejaculation. Oh yes. Love making is not something you can plan before you go into it. It's something you do in your free and open mind. Yeah, you do it. So even when you are doing it, you don't, you don't get too excited, you don't think much about love making, you just do your thing, relax yourself, do your thing. Okay? Keep doing it. You will do it to a point that you will know, you will start feeling maybe this quick ejaculation. At that point, you slow down. After some seconds, you continue. Though it's not going to be easy for a start. But I tell you, if you train your mind towards that direction, <laughs> my friend, you will be amazed in the result you will get. You will be surprised that you will last more than 30 minutes. <laughs> Dr. Chike. You can Professor call me that. Professor Chike. You can call me that name again. My brother. Are you serious? This is just a secret. Just uh, try it. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, 
uh uh what is it what is this excitement all about i don't understand can't i hug my friend again uh -uh. Hmm? well it is just to appreciate you and our unborn baby <laughs> since when did that one start because I know if you have the opportunity, you will rip this baby off my womb and throw it in the dustbin. Uh-uh. God forbid. Well, I admit I was against you keeping the baby before, but the baby is actually very innocent. And you're my friend and I'm supposed to stand by you in whatever you choose to do. Mm. Yes. But that is not enough. You are my childhood friend. I mean... I expected you to be with me through thick and thin, in my happiness and in my sorrows, but you were not there when I, I needed am you most. Sorry, sorry. Forgive me, okay? Thank All you. that is going to change moving forward. This baby now is my baby. I'm just waiting for you to birth the baby and <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to carry a her. Yeah? Mm. It should be a her. Well, I have read everything you just said. But the truth is that Amanda is not here. She has never been here. She doesn't come home. She calls me once or twice in a week. But the last time she called me was like one month ago. So, she's not with me. Okay. Uh, because I was thinking that she's here with you. Mm. I've tried severely to reach her over the phone, but I can't. I think she blocked me or she got a new line. Maybe. Um, do you want me to call her for you? Let me go and bring my phone. Uh, no, Mama. I don't want her to know that uh, I came to look for her here. I just, I just need to know where she's staying now. Uncle, the good Mezi Bomba. Oh, I think she's with Iris. Ah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mama. Thank you, Mama. Okay. Uh, like I said, Biko. Do not tell her that I came to look for her. In moment one, she might decide not to see me. Oh? I will not tell her. Okay. Mm. Thank I you, Mama. Oh. Okay. Ma, because did you go in car? Oh. Yeah. You be quite worried, huh? Just. Yeah. Hey. Two things. Let me be on my way. Thank you, Nam. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank oh, you, Jama. Thank you, Ma. Oh, you, Jama, oh na. thought of a name for our baby? <laughs> My dear, I don't have any name yet, so, but I think I still have much time, so maybe before then I will come up with something. Ah, which time? This is almost seven months in case you don't know. Before you know, time for delivery, the baby will not have name. Mm, ah. Well, if the baby comes without having a name, we will have to call him or her baby by then. I'm so serious. <laughs> hey. Leave it. What? Leave me alone. What if the father of this baby comes one day to claim ownership? Are you going to arrest him? Hmm? He abused you now. Arrest him? No! Ah. Are you expecting anybody? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Who is there? Who 
is they don't have name. What? Who's that? Your husband. Mm-hmm. And so? Let him in now. Is that why you are shaking as if you saw a thief? What do you mean? What about the pregnancy? What are you going to tell him? <laughs> the truth, of course, as you can see. <laughs> Let him in. What have you done? What have you done? Look what you've done. Is there anything wrong with that? Who's responsible? I don't understand. Is that why you're here? Um, just curious. Well, if you must know. I got pregnant that day Ratty raped me. And I do not want to do abortion because I don't know what will happen to me. Does he know you are carrying his child? No. I have not set my eyes on him since I regained consciousness at the hospital. So how am I supposed to tell him? No. Your siblings are fine. Ah. Okay. N no problem. I will come. I will be there. What time? <laughs> no problem. Oh. Uh, Nguano, see you tomorrow. Good night. Mama, what is happening tomorrow morning? Oh, Amanda wants me to to come tomorrow. She's going to her husband's house and she wants me to be there. What for? I don't know. She said she wants me to be there. What about the women's meeting tomorrow at four? I will still meet up. Oh. It's, it's just one hour trip. Okay. Uh, four o'clock. Hey, I'll meet up. Oh. Okay. Hmm. my dear. Let me go and sleep. Okay. Good night. Oh. Good night, Good night Mom. Mm. I'll be leaving very early in the morning. Around six o'clock. I have to go. Okay. Hmm. When you come, you charge this phone for me. Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. I equally want to use this medium to apologize for my words and actions in the past. I'm very sorry.
this incident has taught me a great lesson. One that I wouldn't have forgotten in a hurry. We all know the circumstance that is surrounding my wife's pregnancy. But I want to assure each and every one of you here today that whatever my wife loves, I love. I have decided to accept this pregnancy as my own. I would love him or her as my flesh and blood. That I assure all of you today. The baby is yours. What did you just say? Mama, the baby belongs to my husband. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. And then, um, one more thing. While you were unconscious, we ran a few tests on you, and it was confirmed that you're two weeks pregnant. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. I, doctor, are you serious? I'm, I'm two weeks pregnant? Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You. Um, You're doctor, welcome. please. Um, can we please keep this between us? I want to break the news to my husband myself. <laughs> okay, it's okay. No problem. No problem. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. With the assistance of my friend here, Chiki, I have decided to start working on my one-minute condition. I'm going to start both mental and physical training, and my target is 20 minutes. Wow. Yes. Or even more than 20 minutes. Or even more. Uh-uh. Maroni, you want to kill my daughter? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is called for celebration. So. <laughs> oh. It is 